Ruth here, and we have Cherry Wallace's Curation of Magical Curiosities Wizardry Box, powered by Geek Gear. And it says, Charmed Handle with Care. <laughs> I'll post service 20th June. I'll post your kingdom. Stamp thingies out there. Obviously, that is an actual stamp, and it came in any of those, you know, gray plastic bag thingy, postal bags. Anyway, so this. It's gonna be awesome. I can open it. Okay. Ooh. Well, okay. So we have some lightning bolts and flying keen um plastic paper like tissue paper, that's the word. Here we have I hope this letter finds you well and that the owl that delivered it arrived safely. I also hope that this boy didn't end up in the wrong hands as I will likely get into trouble for exposing our kind to the muggle world. If you're reading this, I wanted to say a big thank you for all your support with the curation of magical curiosities. Always a cherry. P.S. By the way, the bird bites. <laughs> yep, that's all. completely knocking over all of my figures behind this box. Right. Mm. I love this tissue paper though. Very nice. Anyway. So, side. Have some, as she calls them, wiggly worms, which I am not putting this on the floor, but luckily next to me is my recycling box, so they will go right into there. It's very uh, eco-friendly. All these paper things, okay. Anyway, <clears throat> this should be interesting. So, what should we start off with first? Okay, uh, this. Let's see this piece of it. Oh, this is the cheat sheet thing. So, I'm going by the, uh... Mm, what should I go first? Here's a letter thingy. So I'm guessing it might be a print. potion making book. So this page is Draught of Living Death. The Draught of Living Death brings upon its drinker a very powerful sleep that can last indefinitely. Use with caution, paying careful attention to dosage. This is an extremely dangerous potion. The Wiganwild potion is capable of reversing the effects of the draught. The Hag Leticia some, I can't read, some Nolans used the draught in an attempt to kill a princess who made her jealous. The prince who placed the antidote potion on his lips revived the princess with a kiss. So basically, Sleeping Beauty. And it's got like, um, you know, ingredient list and has Half Blood Prince's handwriting in, I guess, corrections and in on the, you know, side. So this is pretty cool. So that's that. So obviously that's not year one. <laughs> um, it is in fact 
year six. So I might as well read this part out anyway. Uh, you may know by now that one of my po my favorite books from Hogwarts is Advanced Potion Making. I wanted to share this potion recipe with you. Otherwise, how are you going to win the vial of Fel Felix Felicis from Professor Slughorn? This was designed by Alarm18, who made one of my favorite limited edition books. This page has come directly from the hundreds of magical pages he designed for his version of advanced potion making. So keep it safe and away from muggle eyes. So that's that. That's cool. Okay, next up. Well, I'm going to take this because this reminds me of Philosopher's Stone <laughs> in this tiny little tiny little paper thing here with all this twine that won't come off. Okay. And it's Aha! There you go. Okay, and this is da -da -da. a very huge philosopher's stone. <laughs> cool. And it's very nice when like the light hits it and stuff. It's very nice. It's very very good. Okay, so um <clears throat> I'm going to read them out each out as I go along anyway. The Philosopher's Stone. I've always had a fondness for Harry's first year at Hogwarts, mostly because it's where we were first introduced to the Wizarding World. If we had never picked up the first book, I think our lives would feel a lot less magical, and you most likely would not be reading this right now. I felt like there was no other choice but to include a Philosopher's Stone to represent Harry's first year at Hogwarts. Wrapped in brown paper and twine, just how it looked when Hagrid removed it from the vault in Gringotts, you are now the owner of your very own Philosopher's Stone. Keep it safe, use it wisely, and keep it out of muggle hands. Since I have nowhere to put this, I'll keep this on my desk probably. <laughs> I have to rearrange my desk though. Though, I shall put it next to the Niffler because then I can keep it safe for that. Though the philosopher is not as shiny as Niffler shiny things, but there we have it. Okay, so put that over here with the twine. Next up, we have. Ooh, since I can see this at the very bottom. Let's see if I can get it up. Ooh, that's, that's an ugly baby. Nicely done, though. There wasn't, would it be a baby? Or would it be like an adult one? young mandrakes in herbology class with Professor Pomona Sprout was one of my favorite scenes in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Why? I think it's my favorite scene in Harry Potter. I'm reading that line again. I think it's because if I was at Hogwarts, the greenhouses are where I'd spend most of my time. I've always had a fascination with mandrake plants. I like that the roots, shapes, resembles humans, I like that they scream when they're being replanted, and that you need to wear earmuffs. I painted this with watercolor paints. I feel like I should name him. It's very nicely painted. Um... What would you name him anyway? That's on the chubby side, so like... 
not very good with coming up with names. Like even for like name on Pokemon, I like take like ten minutes to think of a nickname. <laughs> so I'm probably not one to ask of what to name. For some reason, Fred comes to mind. Or Al. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. That is a very long print. Okay. So next up. Year three, what it looks like, we have some tea. We've got time turning tea. Brewing, one teaspoon per cup, 80 degrees Celsius. Brew within two to three minutes. Ingredients, white tea, flavoring, coconut chips, sweet blackberry leaves, rose petals, corn flour petals, Marigold petals and sunflower petals. Huh. Passion fruit infused tea. That's very nice. I personally don't really drink tea, but I'll give some to my mom and see how much she likes it. Or my sister. Okay, so let's let's read this bit. Time turning tea, your three. If you watched any of my videos on these muggle device on those muggle devices, you'll know that I'm rarely seen without wearing my time turner if Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. From I can't read today, can I? I also love tea. Fruit flavors are my favorite, so I hope you enjoy this one. But I guess I will try it though. Passion I do like passion fruit. I think I can't remember when I tried that fruit, but yes. My favorite tea that I'm trying to find a good one is strawberry flavored. So I did find a strawberry and cream flavored once, but it was not very strong with the flavor. Right, so next. Ooh. Huh. Here we have a pin. Gotta love the pins. So pretty. All right, so year four, roll ball pin. Would you enter your name into the Goblet of Fire? I'm not sure that I would, but I definitely attend the roll ball. The dresses and dress robes, the music, the food and drink, and let's not forget decorations. You knew I'd sneak in an ML pin into this box, didn't you? This pin was designed by Amelia underscore B23 and myself. She makes wonderful magical pins. You want to check her out. I love pins, considering I have three of her pins down here. And there. Staff, frog, and castle. Okay, so that is that one. So uh, next up, is there anything under here? So your five and your seven, I believe, is last. So should we do this one next, or this one next? Let's do this one. Okay, so there's only one left. So let's put that down there. Close this so the weekly ones won't come out. Just put this in the back. Okay. So we have a box that says Rebology on it. It looks like a design of a greenhouse. Ooh, this is uh, Neville's plant. That's cool. It's a nice little thing that I can display on my desk next to my plant Pokemon. <laughs> okay. There we go. That should be viewed better. Very nice 
nice design on the box too, to make it look like the greenhouse. And it tumbled over. Stay. All right. A membus membotonia. Don't worry, this. I'm not saying that again. Won't cover you in stink sap. Never long bottom received one of these interesting plants as a gift in the summer of 1995. We first see this planet in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Did you know the planet in the film was soft and spongy with an animatronic robot inside to make it move? I can confirm this as I have been lucky enough to hold it myself. Sweet. Okay, so one last thing left is this, and this is memory vial. Where's the opening? Oh, and it's got a picture of a pen set on the top. And see if I really want to say it. This exquisite crafted vial bottle will hold your closest memories for many years to come. If I can open the box. Ooh. That was very sad. Cool. Ah, and it does come off. See? Cool. It's a nice sound too. Because it is. It's a nice sound. Awesome. You know, I'm tempted to put like water and food coloring or something and have it, I don't know, green or something. I mean, I am a southern, so why not? But that is so cool. Very nice. And the drop thing. Year 7, Memory Vial. Imagine being able to bottle your most treasured memory. It's one concept from the Wizarding World that I wish was real. This item was inspired by Harry collecting Professor Severus Snape's tears. I want to create a product where you could save your own memories and, and label it yourself. What memory would you save? I'd love to know. Hmm. What memory would I say? Eh. Probably. I don't know. Previous Christmas days when I was a child, maybe? Or. Uh. There isn't really one that really comes to mind. Apart from like a generic one like that. Because there's nothing really too memorable I want to remember. And if I did, I probably would have forgotten it already. But anyway, so that is awesome. That was everything. Oh wait, there's there's something in the box. Oh I get what she means, but label it yourself. She's got some labels. That's awesome. Very cool. You can choose with, between three designs and what to wear your white label you wanted to stick on it. Because it is a sticker. That is very nice. Sweet. Yeah, I can't decide which label would be my favorite though. I quite like this one and this one. And that one last. So basically mainly these two I like best. That is super cool too. Though I am wondering, am I even holding it the right side up? I have no clue. I don't know. But either way, it's cool. For some reason I did not notice. See labels on the inside. Awesome. And it would fit perfectly in the right there. Awesome. 
I'm not sure what I'd thing it. But anyway, drop things I am. Okay, so just to recap. Because awesome. Awesome just needs a recap. Okay, so we have memory file. Your seven. Plant. Your five. Pin. Potion recipe. You're your five, right? You're six. Sorry, you're six. Then I'm going to read. I'm right back. There we go. I laid it out. I didn't notice it before, but on this, she did sign at the very bottom. Cheat sheet, as they say. Ooh, so awesome. Okay, so that's it. That is the end of this magical. Curiosity's box. Now, where to put everything? <laughs> okay, so this is awesome. Like, totally awesome. Now, she did say that she might be doing things that will result in things falling over. Alright, so. She might be doing a Christmas uh, mystery box, my subscription mystery box thingy. It's not going to be a subscription, but it's like a single box like this one. But anyway, this was awesome. I'm so glad I pre ordered it in time before they ran out. <laughs> I should do this properly, but as you know, this is the Durata Living Dead. And here is the instructions with Severus's uh, notes, comments on the side. I think that is awesome. Also, by the way, the tissue paper is awesome, too. <laughs> I mean, it is. Can't deny that. Alright, I love the pin. Yeah, well, I love everything. Everything. It's awesome. I won't be able to put this Philosopher's Stone back in the packaging. But it's... Probably should have taken a picture of that before or take what we need. Oh, well. Anyway. Awesomeness. Awesome. Totally awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna stare at this for another like five minutes. 
So, thank you for watching. Like and for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Uh, right. Uh, this is what the tea looks like. And for some reason now, I mean, I didn't open this before. At first whiff, it, for some reason it smelled like gummy bears. <laughs> then, it's very colorful though. It's very pretty. I don't think it still smells like gummy bears, but passion fruit and whatever. It's just got this nice smell to it. I don't even have a taste, but it does smell very nice. Too bad there's no, as I say, smell vision, but it does look aesthetically pleasing. The, the bluey purple and yellow and orange, pink. Green, almost like all well, the rainbow, almost. That, oh, and white, obviously. Or oh, that's the light green, or white, you can't tell. Anyway, you can be very light green. Anyway, yeah. oh, by the way, um, you might think it's odd, but I'm just. Close this so I don't spill any. But what I did, because I I like keeping things, so like I had a uh, plastic, you know, from something else. So I put the print in this because I don't have anything to put it in. And I put in, I cut off the front so I kept the cover of this box. The other like cheat sheet and the letter and the uh, potion recipe and the tissue paper is in here too. So I just keep it all in one thing. I'll keep it in my filing cabinet for now. <laughs> and later on when I know where to put these, I'll uh, fold, fold, uh, fold out the boxes and put them in here as well to keep them. Or, if I don't do that, then I'll stick them in my scrapbook. So, anyway, yeah. Same goes for, for this when it's used, like when it's empty. I'll just, you know, stick it in my scrapbook or stick it in here. But that's just, you know, besides the point. <laughs> just a random thing. And I'm actually reusing the box. Don't know. I cut up cut it up in bits because I want to try and paint something. So I'm using it to cover my desk so my desk does not get messy painting or whatever. Anyway, yes, that's just a just a thing that I do because I'm weird and whatnot. So yes, so that's really it. Uh, bye.